Hey everyone, Nick Kretikos of Nick Seasonal Decor, and tonight we are going to be designing two separate reeds for two different holidays. So we're going to be working uh, with some Christmas, and then the next wreath we're going to be making is going to be Halloween. And I know we have lots of people asking for Halloween designs. We don't do a whole lot of them. I, I try every year to work in more and more, uh, but by the time we start designing for Halloween, we're already designing for fall and Christmas anyway, and I love those two seasons and holidays so much that I kind of sometimes just kind of skip over Halloween a bit. Uh, but we're going to work in some more this year, I promise. But this year, or this or tonight, we're going to be working with one of my favorite color schemes for Christmas. So I'm a very traditional guy. You guys know that by now, traditional floral designer. Um, you know, my, my personal style is very traditional and not super whimsical. But if I had to choose my all-time favorite for that whimsical color palette, it's got to be icy blue with a red. Icy blue and red is just such a cool combination. You get that fiery effect from the red, and then you have the cool tones. And by working in cool tones and warm tones, or actually hot tones, uh, it creates a really cool composition. So as you come in tonight, if you haven't texted me yet, make sure to do so. That way you always receive alerts whenever we're live. And you can text me to the number 978-396-9150. Here's the sign we're going to be working with tonight. Uh, AP7024, and both of the designs are in kit form. So we're going to start with our staple gun. Uh, we get asked a lot what size staples. I only use quarter inch staples for my signs, and every sign that we have in stock that is MDF, uh, all quarter inch staples will be fine with these signs. So if you purchase a sign from us, you can use a quarter inch staple and not worry about it being damaged uh, or damaging the sign. Now we're going to come back in with a couple pipe cleaners. Hey, Jamie, nice to see you. And if you're catching the replay at this point in time, do me a favor and say hi down below. We'll place one down below and we'll do the same thing up top. All right, three staples is where it's at. And notice, too, that I also stapled the cord. Uh, and the reason for that, hey, Diana, who else do we have here? Be sure to say hi. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Etta. Welcome. Hey, Sue. So now we can secure our sign. And this sign, you guys, truth be told, was a last-minute decision. Uh, I was so excited with this wreath kit, just having that be uh, beautiful eucalyptus and those berries and that ribbon that I wasn't planning on working in a sign. And as I was walking up the stairs to come into my studio, I saw this sign, and I just knew it would be the perfect match. So I'm going to secure it on the right-hand side. We'll secure it down below, and we'll also secure it up top as well. Feed those pipe cleaners through that grapevine. Pull it really tight. You want to make sure it stays in place. And you're good to go. Look at how pretty that is. Thank you for sharing in the hearts, you guys. I appreciate it. As I've said before, by sharing our videos, it helps me reach and inspire others, which is my main goal with my business. So here we have the Swiss Dot. Uh, we sold out of this really quickly last year, and I foresee that happening again this year. We had a lot of requests for it, so we made sure to order hopefully enough. Um, but we have a couple cases, and this is a really pretty ribbon, and it matches perfectly. So we're going to start with a set of tails. I want your feedback at this point in time. Should we do a funky bow? Or should we do a traditional bow? So let me know. In the meantime, we can start prepping our other products. So the item number for the ribbon is going to be RGA1731TA. And we have tons of Swiss Dot. And I just got confirmation today that we have tons more colors coming in. Uh, so Dad really loves it, and I do as well. It just works for so many seasons and holidays. So for these, I'm going to see if we can just pull them apart. I'm not sure. It's going to be easier just to cut them. So we're going to snip them off. In the meantime, like I said, I would love for you to comment down below which kind of bow you would like to see, whether it be funky or traditional. So snip these off individually. 
like that. We've already cut a set of tails. We could work in more tails if we want. What the heck, we might as well do two sets, right? So that's two sets of really long tails. Minnie says funky. Hey, Nancy. Pam says funky. Hey, Sheila. Sheila says funky. All right, you got it. So to make a funky bow, we're going to create one loop followed by two tails, one on each side. And this type of bow is so easy to make, you guys. I like to alternate them, so I like to come back in with my next loop on the other side. And the only reason for that is that way I fluff it a little less. That way it's already kind of positioned where we want it. And then we can just come back in and do a light fluff to position it exactly where we want. So by alternating them, by having one loop on one side and then coming back in with your next loop on the other side, it just makes life a little bit easier. So here's our third loop. And when it comes to tail length, I don't really measure. Uh, I think the more off you can be, the better sometimes the bow looks. So don't be too specific. Some are going to be longer, some are going to be shorter, and it's still going to look beautiful. So don't get too caught up in measurements. Coming back in with our fourth, maybe we'll do five total. There's four. And we'll do one final bow or loop. So who else is a fan of this blue and red? It's been one of our most popular color schemes. And for good reason, right? I mean, it's so pretty. We'll work in our tails. Didn't measure them. Take a pipe cleaner and secure. Twist it several times. And this is the eucalyptus. It's such a pretty eucalyptus. Uh, it's going fast, but we did get more colors in. So the blue, we don't have too many left. But we have silver in stock now. We have champagne. We're getting in red eucalyptus, green, and a few other colors. I think a lime and an emerald. So we'll place our bow in the upper left-hand corner. You guys know I love to place my bows here. Nice and secure. We have four tails. And another thing too is I've been loving making my bows really full lately. Uh, I think it's because of the time of year. We've talked about it before. For fall and Christmas, I usually like to make my bows a little bit fuller and a little bit heavier. And then for spring and summer, we usually go on the lighter side of things. So just dovetail those. Where'd my other scissors go? <laughs> These scissors aren't doing it. There we go. But how many of you guys got your texts uh, tonight? Do you guys enjoy getting texts? I think it makes life so much easier. That way you don't have to rely on Facebook notifications or any notifications in general. Clean up our table a bit. I think that's all the tails. Yep, I think we're good to go. Now we can start fluffing. So pull those loops apart from one side to the other. Open the tails up. Pull everything out. And if they're super duper long, you can just trim them. So we'll just trim this one a little bit as well. And this one too. There we go. Ooh, I forgot to say yesterday or last night rather, before we designed those two kits uh, together here on my business page, we were live in the wreath community and I posted a picture this morning of what we created. Hands up if you saw what we created. We worked in burgundy, some burgundy amaryllis, uh, and it seemed like you guys really liked that wreath. That wreath did well, so let me know. What would you guys think of it?
And if you have no idea what I'm talking about, you can just check it out on my Facebook or Instagram page. Oh, this is going to look nice, you guys, especially with those red berries we're going to add in a minute. So as we approach the side, I'm actually going to take a piece or two and have it bend downwards just so that it kind of creates that curve effect. So it's not so flat. We don't want, you know, any side of our wreath to be super flat. We want it to have that boomerang effect. Another one here. I'll place one towards the middle as well. All right, there's one spray's worth. I love this blue. Hopefully we have enough of this ribbon to do another kit with because there's another idea I've been thinking about. Almost 500 of you guys. Thank you. You received your text. Got my text and was able to watch. Welcome. I appreciate you being here with me tonight. So today was a breezier day. <laughs> uh, it's still warm, but it's not as hot as it has been, which is so, so nice. Uh, it's starting to feel a little bit like fall. I heard Dunkin' Donuts tomorrow is going to have their fall flavors. And Starbucks is going to have them, I think, Friday. So have you guys had pumpkin spice before? I know I'm, t I'm designing a Christmas tree talking about fall. Uh, but we're going to work in a fall design in just a few minutes after this one. Uh, so it's going to make more sense to talk about that later. But let me know. I know lots of people think it's overrated. I happen to enjoy it. I think it's good in small doses. But then again, me and Alex drink our coffee. It's like jet fuel, you guys. We drink Americanos. So Okay, we have two pieces left. Bring that one up a little bit. And for these two final pieces, I'm actually going to just trim a little bit off the stem and place them closer towards the middle. That way we don't cover up our sign. There's one. And we have one left. Which virtually can go anywhere. We'll place it there. Pull your longer tails down again. You can curl them at this point in time. You guys know I love to curl up my tails. Or you can do it towards the end. Doesn't really make a huge difference. You're loving the colors? Me too. I love this icy blue with the red. And I know it might not be for everybody. Uh, and for my own home, you know, I, I typically lean towards more traditional or classical colors. But if I had to pick a favorite for something fun and different, it has to be this blue and red. There's nothing like it. Okay. This tail's a little bit long, too, so we'll snip that back a little bit. And you're better off snipping it like I do, which is in small doses, because if you end up liking it longer, you still have something to work with. Whereas if you do one you know, heavy chop, there goes your ribbon. So on top of those two eucalyptus, the Swiss dot ribbon, the sign, and the 18-inch grapevine, you also receive two of these glitter ball berry sprays. So these are 28 inches long, MTX 66842, and I really like them. So we have tons of traditional berries, you know, the ones that actually grow outside, in stock and lots more to come. But these are just something different. Let's see. I wasn't too gentle with that one, but that's okay. So being a terrible spokesman and businessman, forgot to tell you guys where you can get any of this stuff. So you guys can find all of our products available both in kit form as well as individual form at nickseasonaldecor.com. We do offer free shipping over 119 in the continental U.S. And if you're a Wreath Community member, you can save an additional 10% off on every order, including grapevines. And our grapevines are $5.75 
for our 14 inch and with your 10% off coupon, that's like 520. Uh, we've had some members today that paid for their membership alone in savings from their orders. So just a heads up and you can learn more about the wreath community at wreathcommunity.com. Now it's time to add that pop of red, which I think this wreath desperately needs. So I'll just straighten out some of these wires and get covered in glitter at the same exact time. And just work in a few here and there. Stick some deeper in, some further out. We'll lift our bow and place one towards the middle. And don't forget the tails are gonna look better once we hang it up. So if you like my finished designs, they look a little bit different than they do on the table. And that's all because we spend extra time fluffing them and gravity takes a hold of my bows and my tails and pulls them down and makes them look natural and not out of place. Place another red berry up top. So I think this kit is somewhere in the high 30s or so, maybe low 40s. Alex actually made this kit, so you guys be sure to say hi to Alex. She's in the comments. I just love this red and blue. Place a piece sticking out there. We have a few more pieces. Should we work them into the bow or keep them away? I mean, I guess we could do either. You want to stick one more towards the middle, right there. And then our final spray, let's stick underneath to kind of elongate this design even more. How pretty is that? What do you guys think? Over 500 of you guys, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it. If you enjoy watching me, do me a favor and make sure to follow us on all of our social media. So we have a YouTube, an Instagram, Facebook. Uh, I think we have a Pinterest. <laughs> and you can shop on our website, of course. So there is kit number one. Who's a fan? And if you're not, that is totally okay. We have a lot more kits coming your way. I know lots of you guys enjoy them. And even if you're not interested in a kit, no worries. You can always just get some inspiration, which is the main thing with my videos and tutorials and either use the products that you have on hand, which is my number one suggestion, uh, or purchase them from whoever you're comfortable purchasing your supplies from. All right, kit number one, I think that is a successful kit. So time for our second design. <sighs> Look at all that glitter. I'm gonna be covered, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to look like a disco ball. And it's not just because I'm round. I'm covered in glitter. So let's staple our next sign. We have two or three different styles of this. This says, enter if you dare. We also have bad to the bone, which is the same color scheme, same everything, just different words. AP8949. And we're going to secure that to our 18-inch oval. I just love these frames. I know lots of you guys like them as well. If you don't, we do have all the supplies individually uh, available, and you can always purchase, you know, whatever grapevine you choose. We have all grapevines in stock. I think our 14-inch rounds sold out today, uh, but I'll have to check our quantities to make sure that wasn't an error on our behalf. Staple it on either side. And I would love your feedback too. We haven't released a bow making video in a long time. Um, we used to do them for every season and holiday, multiple ones throughout the year. And the last one I think of um, was early, early spring, maybe even December was the last time I created a bow series. So if you guys need bow help, let me know down below by commenting, you know, I need bow help. <laughs> and, you know, that'll give me the oomph to make more bow tutorials. I know. Lots of you guys struggle, and my goal is to 
help you master the art of bow making because it's not as complicated as it seems. I think through years of personal experience, I think the number one issue that a lot of people face with bow making is their lack of confidence in themselves. They get too stressed out and they get too, they're, you know, if they're like me, kind of perfectionist. And what happens when you're a perfectionist is you stress and then you call it quits thinking it's ugly. So definitely don't do that. So look at this kit, you guys. How cool is this going to be? I'm so excited. Pat would love bow help. Love the colors. Me too. Hey, Mary. Bow help. You got it, you guys. So you get these and you also receive two rolls of ribbon. So these kits, we don't have many in stock. Uh, simply and solely because one of the ribbons, this one is sold out. So you might be wondering, Nick, why are you using a two and a half inch with the black edge and the same thing that's on the middle of this ribbon? And it's all about texture, you guys. The more texture you can have in a design, the better off you are. So here is the one and a half inch version. This is our check ribbon, I think, checkerboard ribbon. So the one and a half ha has an item number of RG1067X6. And the two and a half inch has an item number of RG1168X6. We're gonna start with our two and a half inch. And I'm wondering, should we do something on the side, you guys, or would you rather see it completely placed underneath? Can't wait to get the gnome ribbons I ordered. Awesome, thank you for your order, and I can't wait for them to arrive. Uh, we've been shipping either same day or next day uh, lately, which has been really nice. We like to send out your orders as quickly and efficiently as possible. We don't like to hold on to them, and we like them to go out. So regardless of which ribbon, we're going to cut a length of tails for each. I kind of like how this one curls up a little bit. I like that. You can straighten it out as well. So let's see what you guys are saying in the middle or the side. Love those colors together too. I think it's something different. This is going to look awesome. I agree, Kay. Uh, so I don't use hangers. Uh, great question. I do not use any hangers for my designs. I only use the grapevine. Uh, of course, we've done a few specialty designs, like let's say in the wreath community, where we've used a hanger or two. Uh, where we kind of make our own base and whatnot, but as a general rule, I do not use any hangers. So I'm wondering, how how do I want to make this? Maybe we'll make one loop like that, and another loop like this. So about four inch loops on either side, with a set of tails about six to eight inches, like a bow tie. And then we can come back in with the one and a half inch checkerboard. And we can, should I add some tails up top? Maybe we'll add them down below. We'll just place two tails, maybe a little bit longer than that. Do one loop. Do a second loop. And let's finish it off with a button loop, just a little one, and then cut our second tail. So I already pre-cut two longer tails, thinking the majority would say keep it in the middle, but since you all said place it to the side, we'll just work in these longer tails. So this bow is very informal, as you can tell, and it's not really going to look like a traditional bow. And I think it's just going to be interesting to have something different from our norm. Although I do love traditional bows, like the one we did in the burgundy ribbon earlier. I love that. So I'll fluff it once we secure it in place. So when securing your pipe cleaners to your reeds, number one tip is to always make sure you're using more than just one little twig. Uh, one little twig will not keep it in place. You want to make sure you have a few substantial branches behind it or else the whole thing can fall right, you know, off by snapping a twig. So you need some substance.
fluff it out. Oh, I kind of like that tail sideways too. Pull our longer tails down, definitely. And I like being able to see those three loops. Can you guys see that okay? I think that's something different. Maybe we'll just curl these up. That might be something different too. As you can tell, I want to mix it up. We'll curl the longer tails that we cut initially and then probably just dovetail the shorter ones. So here's one shorter one, here's the other. Curl these longer ones now. Uh-oh, I see a sad face. I don't want a sad face, you guys. I want a happy face. I've had sad faces all week. So show some happy faces, please. No sad face. All right, we'll dovetail these two shorter ones. And for these, I think I'll actually just cut them. Sometimes trying something completely new can be a bit much, right? All right, so the longer tails are looking wonky, and that's just because we don't need to spend too much time while they're on my table. We'll always go back and fluff those once they're on the wall. So now we can come back in with the pretty flowers. Well, we don't have flowers in it, but the greenery. Actually, we don't have greenery either. <laughs> the picks. So this is one of our hemlock sprays, I believe. These are only like $1.99 to $2.99. I forget the exact price. You get two of them, and they're this beautiful orange copper color. So I'm a huge fan of copper, especially for fall. And I think it works great for Halloween as well. You also get one of these. This is one of the fern, copper ferns that we have. Snip those off. And we can work these in. All right, two more pieces of this. Place a piece behind the bow and a piece under. And we'll give that a good fluff. I'm not even going to worry about the way the bow looks for the time being. Work in our ferns now. So I'm just going to bend this one downhill a bit. Place that one there. We might as well have one go uphill and our final piece should we stick it up there 
Let's do it. All right, time for the black and white picks. So you got two of these, item number of XS9732NE. So we'll work in those two. And I just love black and white things. I think, you know, having having it for every day works really nicely. We've done several designs with just black and white, no color at all, uh, including no greenery. And they've looked really pretty. How many of you guys remember, I forget what the sign said. <laughs> I think it said, did it say welcome? I think it said welcome but we did a black and white version and it looked really, really pretty. So we'll take these stems, dip them in our glue, and poke them in. Don't forget about up top. We're going to do the same thing. Place a piece down here. And then we have one final piece, which I think go underneath. So we'll deal with all of this later, like I said. We'll fluff that in just a minute. Then you get one final spray. I thought it'd be cool just to add a different texture. So these are like little hoops. XS9731NE. And it's like deco mesh tubing. <laughs> but in a way that I like. So this is deco mesh tubing. These are just like, I don't know, glittered sticks. Uh, but you guys know I'm not a huge deco mesh tubing fan. And the reason is, is I think I overdid it. I used to use it so much that I got sick of it. We'll place one piece on either side and then one sticking out the middle. Uh, but I used it so much. And then finally I was just like, I don't want to work with it anymore. And that was years ago. So I got to see if I like it because I still have so much of it. You know, or maybe I'll just give it to you guys. You guys want some deco mesh tubing? Now we can deal with these tails. We might just have these longer tails drape. These two shorter ones can go in the middle. Like that. Or if we wanted to curl them, we can just curl them a little bit. And there we have a spooky Halloween wreath. Well, not spooky. I think it's cute. Enter if you dare, the sign says. And as I said, once we hang it up, these tails will just naturally cascade, and I'll run my fingers through them again. Uh, but I think this turned out so pretty. It's such a different color palette, having that coppery orange color mixed in. Uh, and we used just picks. I mean, there's no greenery or florals in this whatsoever. Uh, and I, I think that turned out really cute. What do you guys think?
might not be your style and that's totally fine uh, but to mix it up and try something different I think it was fun so we have both of these kits available at nickseasonaldecor.com uh, as a friendly reminder like I said yesterday the 7 8 inch ribbon we are down a few extra colors now we have uh, just a few colors in stock uh, and those quantities are really low as well so I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to get some more in this year uh, we'll try our hardest but same with Christmas signs I feel like Christmas signs are flying too so shop early for those of you guys that are interested in that I hate for you guys to be like me uh, which is to be a last-minute shopper and then end up missing out because I've done that so many times and I hate it so that is kit number one enter if you dare and my favorite of the night is our Merry Christmas with a glue string with that blue and red so I'll have pictures of these both posted uh, as always thank you so much for watching thank you for the hearts thank you for the shares I appreciate it more than you'll ever know um, you know in doing so it helps me inspire others and there's nothing that brings me greater joy than being able to show you guys something that you you know might not have seen before or to take up another hobby or business uh, you know there's no greater feeling than inspiring others so that is what I enjoy doing so very much uh, be sure to follow us on Instagram subscribe to our YouTube channel and make sure to text me the number is 978-396-9150 and thank you all so much and I'll see you tomorrow bye everyone